Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed. Today is April 14, 2013, and uh, trying to find the time, and I don't have it. <laughs> um, 9.36 p.m., Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, Four Blood Moons, Part 2, and um, it's coming up. Right now, Israel is 5.37 a.m. They're less than 12 hours from the time that they should receive or see a blood red moon, which would probably be about 6 p.m. their time in Israel and the Middle East. And uh, in any case, a lot's going on. Kerry pitched a fit, John Kerry, and just acting like a child, he pitched a fit in front of national television, in front of the UN, and um, and just kind of, he was upset because nobody's talking to him and nobody's paying attention. Nobody's wanting to do anything. Well, Kerry, the reason is you're trying to give Israel away. And besides that, you act like a kid. Shut up. But Kerry, not only that, he has given them nine months, which is up on April the 29th this month. What's going to happen when that time is up? Come May the 1st, is something going to happen in Israel that we don't know about? Well, as of today, as of this day, Birmingham, Alabama, April the 14th, America has turned its back on Israel today. Aside, today, he said, we want to take back the land that Israel took from us. In other words, back in 67, uh, uh, Syria, along with Egypt and several countries, attacked Israel, and Israel beat the stew out of them and took land. Well, Assad now says, you know what? We want that land back. <laughs> like they have a choice in it. Yeah, right. But he did say that they won the current war by using chemical weapons. So what is he alluding to? So along with this, his idea of facing war with Syria right now, Russia sent two of their military aircraft buzzing our warships in the Mediterranean. Why? Some at 500 feet and about 3,000 feet off the bow, they come screaming by, and they did this for a period of over 45 minutes. And then a second warplane came by, but this time it was higher. But what came out of the White House? Nothing. So Israel, without the help of the United States, launched their own satellite, and it went up the day before yesterday. And they're, they are prepared, according to Benjamin Netanyahu, we will go and take out Iran along if needed. And um, you can bet that he will do just that. And again, Kerry, his nine months is up on April the 29th, and we expect, or should we expect something to happen by May the 1st. Again, he's pitching a fit like a little child. And uh, Russia flexed on muscles. Iran said we are within two months away from building our nuclear weapon. And guess what? A speaker that was on Prophecy in the News with Gary Stearman said Friday that Israel was in Iran's target. It is the United States. So, guys, I'm just telling you things are going to start happening. They already have. But do you want to be caught off guard? Do you want to be not ready? What happens, and, and I'm serious as a heart attack, if a bomb drops on your town, 
What if a suitcase bomb bomber from Iran, and they supposedly have many over here, blows up a part of your community? You got to be ready. You can't fight that kind of battle unless you're wearing the armor of God. And by wearing the armor of God, there's not a battle that you can't fight and there's not one you can't win. Look, just be ready. We are, in my opinion, and if you listen to John Hagee, Hal Lindsey, listen to Gary Stearman, listen to... God, there's so many people on Prophecy in the News, the whole network of people they have. The four blood moons is not only marking a time in history that's unprecedented, it's marking a possible time that will plunge us into the last seven years as we know it. You want to be ready to escape that seven years to not be in it. You can't escape it. A lot of people do not believe in a rapture at all. A lot of people believe in a post-trib rapture. A lot of people believe in a mid-trib rapture. And a lot of people believe in a pre-trib. There's more evidence that points to a pre-trib than any other. God says, I will keep you from that hour. And Jesus says, you have not been elected to receive that kind of wrath. There are so many different things. The man of perdition cannot come to power as long as the Holy Spirit is here. There are so many things that points to it can't happen until you're gone. When the Holy Spirit's removed, then, wow. Then the rich, the very rich, will cry for the mountains to pour on them, to fall on them, to hide them from the face of the one that appears in the clouds riding a white horse. And it's not putting without a shirt riding through the countryside. Jody Wolf exposed.